Hello everyone. In this program, we will explain what pesticides are and what they are used for. Then we will talk about the differences between natural and synthetic pesticides, and also go over their positive and negative aspects. We will also talk about the use of these pesticides in Mexico. Pesticides are chemical mixtures, either naturally grown from plants or synthetically made in labs. They are made to ward off insects and vermin, and are used in houses, yards, on garden plants, and on crops. For each of these specific uses, there are different pesticides that fit. Natural pesticides are usually more environmentally friendly because they originate from the environment. But this does not stop them from still being harmful. They can be toxic to the human body, just as toxic to humans as some synthetic pesticides. Our bodies will eventually detoxify themselves if they do not encounter pesticides for a while. Yet, if our bodies keep in contact with pesticides, their toxic effects will start to show themselves. Natural pesticides are usually weaker. They usually aren't as toxic as synthetic pesticides. This also means that the plants will be more likely to survive the pesticides. Another advantage to natural pesticides is that they can be washed into the ground or a body of water with few harmful side effects. Not everything about natural pesticides is good. One negative aspect of natural pesticides is that because they are weaker, the pesticides do not always kill the insects and vermin. These pests grow immunities to the chemicals and make them harder to destroy. Natural pesticides can also not be altered. So, if the pesticides cannot kill a certain type of bug, the farmer must find a different pesticide that targets that bug. Just like natural pesticides, synthetic pesticides have their own list of good and bad aspects. Synthetic pesticides are more powerful than natural pesticides and can be controlled more easily. This is because the chemicals inside them can be changed and altered depending on what scientists need to happen. Since synthetic pesticides are more powerful, they can be sprayed in smaller amounts and over longer periods of time. Also, synthetic pesticides have been becoming safer to plants and the environment while keeping their intensity towards insects and vermin. One example of this is a chemical called DDT. This chemical is used very often in synthetic pesticides. It used to be very toxic and overused, but over the years it has been toned down and used in smaller quantities. It is true that natural pesticides are still less toxic and less harmful to the environment, but synthetic pesticides are following close behind. It is even possible that scientists will make synthetic pesticides that are safer towards both humans and the environment someday. However, this has not happened. Synthetic pesticides still have some downsides. The biggest is that synthetic pesticides are much more toxic to the human body. They aren't as toxic as they used to be, but they are more toxic than natural pesticides. Along the same line, synthetic pesticides are also more harmful towards the environment. They cannot just sink into the soil and disappear like some natural pesticides. They can be carried to lakes and bays and poison the fish and sea plants there. However, once again, these synthetic pesticides are not as hazardous as they used to be. All pesticides have their own individual ups and downs, but they are always advancing. Right now, it seems that natural pesticides are more friendly and safe. Even though it takes more effort and work, the reward is better. Yet, synthetic pesticides have come a long way, and it looks like they will keep going. Now this may be the case for the U.S., but for Mexico, it is very different. In Mexico, nothing is illegal in the pesticide world. This is because the government is powerless to stop what is happening. The companies that sell pesticides can use whatever chemicals it takes to make the pesticides as deadly as possible. Of course, the farmers do not know what harmful effects each pesticide has because the manufacturers lie about the effects. For example, the manufacturer of a pesticide called Anvil states that it is a non-toxic pesticide and that the only side effects are teary eyes and a runny nose. While in reality, the side effects are liver damage, breast cancer, and endocrine disruption. Also, the chemicals in the pesticide can become 20 times more deadly when exposed to sunlight. The farmers sometimes pick the worst pesticides for the environment, humans, and their plants without knowing. Of course, the humans who eventually eat the food do care about these issues, but they are powerless because of government inaction. Even though pesticides are not being supervised in Mexico, the government will act as soon as they have proof of pesticides harming humans. Many people dislike pesticides, but there are also people people dislike pesticides, but there are also people who like pesticides. 
A small group of people who like pesticides. A small group of people who like pesticides are the people who pick up the gum dumped out by the gum companies. This gum is dumped because it is too toxic to sell. Also, the companies who make pesticides do not want to stop selling their product and will do whatever they can to keep selling pesticides.